Hello there, this is Pastor Jerry with another slice of toast from the Red Life. How are you today? Hey, it's almost Thanksgiving coming up tomorrow. I want to tell you that the Bible's very clear on some things on Thanksgiving. You know, we have all these demands that we give thanks, but let me tell you what Paul wrote to the church in Colossians, our scripture for today. Paul says in Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 15, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you are called to peace and be thankful. Wow, Paul, what powerful words for us today. You know, God doesn't want us just to say thank you because someone tells us to say thank you. Have you ever gotten a Christmas present or, or, or a gift? And, and when you were a child and had your mom and dad say, well, now go tell aunt so-and-so or uncle so-and-so or your brother or your sister or your grandma or grandpa, go tell them thank you. You tell them, but it's not really, it's just lip service on the outside. You see, God wants us to be thankful from the heart. I like that. He said, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. And, and, and since you are members of one body, you are called to peace and be thankful because he's ruling in your heart. Sometimes we have to stop and look at, at church and, the, and even the way we worship and say, how is it that I'm worshiping today? Am I worshiping in just mouth and words of praise and words of thanks because it's the song that's going on and everyone's singing it? A am I only thankful because that's the expected of me to say thanks? Or do I genuinely have thanks in my heart? You see, when, when you start understanding what Jesus did for you and how he forgave you and, and the shape that you were in when he forgave you, when you look and see how wretched you are and, and, and then you hold others more accountable than you, th there's no thankfulness. But when you see yourself as God sees you, you see the darkness that ha has overcome and, and taken your life and how it keeps cropping up and trying to get you. And then you understand that you're kept by his mercy and his grace. And that it's only by his grace and the gift he gave you that saved you. Then you become thankful from the heart. Because you understand you're lost without it. Hey, this is Pastor Jerry. This Thanksgiving, be thankful from the heart.